Hello! For today, I gotta be talking one of the famous novels that many people have been talking about in the book world. And yes, there are lots of good reviews of this, especially in Goodreads, but yeah, surprisingly, I don't like this book as much as uh, the rest of the YA novels that I have read or come across to it. And uh, as to what book I am actually referring to is, in fact, written by Irene Morgenstern. That is The Night Circus. The Night Circus is considered to be an adult fiction or fantasy because its contents, in fact, no longer focuses on the young adults, but of course the older ones. And yes, I will be giving you my reasons why I don't really like this book that much. The story starts when the circus arrives without warning. No announcements precede it. It is simply there when yesterday it was not. Within the black and white striped canvas tent is an utterly unique experience full of breathtaking amazement. It is called Le Cirque de Reeves and it is only open at night. But behind the scenes, a fierce competition is underway. A duel between two young magicians, Celia and Marco, who had been trained since childhood expressly for this purpose by their mercurial instructors. Unbeknownst to them, this is a game in which only one can be left standing, and the circus is but the stage for a remarkable battle of imagination and will. Despite themselves, however, Celia and Marco tumble headfirst into love, a deep magical love that makes the lights flicker and the room grow warm whenever they so much as brush hands. True love or not, the game must play out, and the fates of everyone involved, from the cast of extraordinary circus performers to the patrons, hang in the balance, suspended as precariously as the daring acrobats overhead. I already have read this book early this year but I just got the opportunity today to film my book review on the Night Circus since I do have lots of time today. It's holiday! Of all the books that I have read this year, this is so far the least that I like. I understand the hype most readers have given on this book, given the fact that it is Irene Morgenstern's debut novel, and it is a novel, in fact, which is saturated with magic and fantasies, and most adults and young adult readers like that idea, or that concept. Almost everybody in the world of book has been talking about this novel. Nonetheless, I have three main reasons why I don't like this book, much as I do with the rest of the fantasy novels I have read. And as to what are they, here they are. The first reason why I don't like this book is because of the arrangement of each chapter. Told in different perspectives and time, the plot gave me a hard time to fully grasp and connect the chapters of the book. That explains why it took me 10 days to finish the book as from time to time I needed to check the setting and the dates of the particular events in the story. The second reason is that the night circus tells it doesn't show. As a reader who loves fantasy novels, I expected that the book would give me so much excitement in consonance with its genre, but sadly, it did not surpass my expectation. So sad. The fantasy and the magic elements failed to excite me probably because of the first reason I highlighted. This is so much different compared with other fantasy novels I dived into. The level of my excitement was at its peak in the first few chapters, but it nosedived dive towards the end. The romantic feel of the book did not even bring me in a cloud nine. Despite the love story of Marco and Celia, yes, I didn't feel in love. I was not over the moon during the time when I read this because I feel that their love is quite forced. They are just compelled to love each other. That's how I felt about the book. And yes, maybe it's just me. I'm so bitter. <laughs> I hate to mention it, but I also did not like the character development of some. There are those whose motives and inhibitions are not clear to me even up to now. There are those who disappeared into the ether, and I even did not know where did they go after reading the novel The Night Circus. I endeavored to go back to the chapters where they were mentioned, but I guess 10 days should be enough for one book, so I needed to move on or move forward to read more books. In a nutshell, those are my reasons why I don't like The Night Circus by Irene Morgenstern. And if this video offends you, especially to Irene Morgenstern fans, I am very sorry. But I believe that reading actually is subjective and it varies from person to person. So peace. Peace be with you all.
Oh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel.